Everyone. That feels more like a small mouth. Get on in here, baby. Ah! That's not what you want. That's not what you want. Sorry about that, buddy. Came off in the boat at the wrong time. Beautiful fish. You know, uh, Swinging rugby head, not football head. I, I just talked about it, and uh, you know that's that's a nice keeper fish here. Fun to catch these smallmouth. Sorry, I dropped him on the carpet. He'll be just fine though. Swinging rugby head is it's a neat deal. I'm from South Carolina. I obviously grew up in South Carolina, and the Carolina rig is something I've always thrown. But I use that some, but I use this swinging rugby head a lot, especially when you got a lot of current instead of. Like with a Carolina rig, having your sinker here and the baits normally you're pulling along the bottom or you know the contour that you're fishing. But with this current, it's like the bait is pushed downstream from the Carolina rig. And I just seem to get more bites with this uh, swinging rugby head. And it's just as simple to fish as a Carolina rig. You know, one of the cool things about a, a Carolina rig is you just throw it out there and drag it along and they they bite it. And this this is basically the same thing but instead of dragging and getting slack line and pulling the bait i just i just basically reel the bait along keeping contact with the bottom when i feel a bite or i, I feel kind of lose contact with the bottom i start reeling and i pull into the fish and i seem to not miss many fish at all doing that and there's a lot of guys use different soft plastics whether it's crawfish type baits creature baits whatever i, I really like this yamamoto psycho dad a couple reasons why Th these claws have air in them so the claws stand up uh, when you're fishing this bait on the bottom and you know a crawfish in a defensive position it looks very natural and very realistic You know, it's it looks just like a crawfish standing up. The other thing that's really cool about this. There's a little pocket uh, Made in this mold and I slide a rattle in there and you you can hear that rattle um, So I've got the rattle inside the plastic. So when this baits bumping along the bottom uh, With the claws up and that rattle I think is you know, just the best combination I've found on on this swinging rugby head I got something big. He got it right off that rock. Holy cow. If this is a smallmouth, we got a state record. This is big. You know, it's a fun thing about fishing, especially if it's not a tournament. I, I think I got something bigger than a smallmouth, but you never know what the next cast is gonna bring. Unless I've got it foul hooked. It's maybe a drum. It's something that's stretching my string, that's for sure, baby. <laughs> Sheep's head. <laughs> they live in the exact same places that you know your your largemouth do, and they sure like to eat crawfish. Check that out. <laughs> the lid here is is similar to your regular football headed jig, but it's it swivels so it gives this bait a lot of action so this this head is coming through the rocks or the gravel or whatever type of cover you're fishing and you can see there where you know i've been beating it around all morning and uh you can see there where it comes in contact with rock the recess eye here is really important with this particular bait because a lot of times what will get you hung with a, a you know, a football jig or even one of these baits is that eye there where you tie your line is it's sticking out and it'll actually pin between the, uh, the crack of a rock. So it's real important that this is recessed here. So as this is on the bottom, this can actually float up, move, and has a lot more action than a regular football head jig. So the swinging rugby head is, you know, I, I almost never throw a football head anymore. I think this is the way to go, no doubt. little guy even a little small mouth fight good though there's a few here maybe his grandma lives here too <laughs> 